Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna show you how to use your Rodecaster video to stream directly to a streaming platform, such as YouTube, Twitch, or Facebook. You can do this via ethernet or even wirelessly over your Wi-Fi network. Check out our video on getting connected if you need help with getting your Rodecaster video set up on your network. First up, let's open Rode Central and set everything up in the stream profiles menu. Here you can create, edit, and delete your stream profiles as well as adjust other settings for your stream. Click Add Profile to create a new stream profile and give it a name. At this point, you'll need to enter the server and stream key from your streaming platform. It's important to note that this is your stream key and it's unique to your account. So treat it like a password and don't share it around. If you already have this on hand, you can enter it in. Save your profile and skip ahead in this video to learn how to go live. For everyone else, let's take a quick look at how you can find your server and stream key info for YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook Live. For YouTube, go to Create, and then click Go Live in the top right-hand corner. You'll find this on any page on YouTube. On the Stream page, you'll see a Stream Settings tab. Here, you'll see the Stream Key and Stream URL. We're gonna copy our Stream Key, bring it over to Road Central, paste it into where it says Stream Key, and the same for the server URL. Click Save, and we've created our stream profile. For Twitch, head to the Creator Dashboard. Then in your settings, go to Stream, and you'll find your stream key at the top right here. Now to find the best server address for you, Twitch has an ingest recommendation webpage that will link for you in the description below. For Facebook, in your status update bar, select Live Video. Then click Go Live, and in Settings, click on Stream to find your stream key. To find your server URL, click on Advanced Settings. It's worth noting that Facebook Live will reset your stream key automatically if you log out. So if you'd like to keep using the same key, select Persistent Stream Key in the settings. Now that you've created your stream profile and saved it to your Roadcaster video, the next step is to enable it. For this, you want to tap on the section here next to the top of the screen below the audio level meters and then tap profile. Now you can highlight the profile you just created using the encoder. Tap the back arrow to return to the previous screen. When you do this, you should notice that the network LED will now be lit. This tells you that you're connected to a network and have a stream profile enabled, which means you're ready to go live. If the network LED isn't lit green, check your network settings in settings, device, and network. Or in Road Central under device configuration, system, and then network. Finally, when you're ready to go live, simply hit go live and confirm it with the green tick. You'll know that you're live when the network LED has turned red in the top left-hand corner of the device. To end your stream, head back to the same menu and instead of go live, the button will show your elapsed runtime. Tap this button and confirm it with the green tick. And that's it. You've just created your first stream with the Roadcaster video.